Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course specs of biochemical engineering. In last uh, couple of lectures, we 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 try to cover the theoretical part, the analytical part of uh, that microbial system, how the kinetics of substrate utilization, product formation, and biomass formation by using different microorganisms can be explained and or can be analyzed. So uh, that. Uh, we started with uh, that you know how we can monitor the cell mass concentration then we discussed the what are the different models we have we discussed the structured model unstructured model segregated model and non segregated model then we discussed about the inoculation of the microorganism using the life cycle then we analyzed the batch process we analyzed the continuous process as per continuous process is concerned there are two type of process one is uh, chemostat or CSTR and another is plug for reactor and uh, and another another process we we explained that is the fed batch process which is mostly used for the uh, where the substrate acts as inhibitor now after that we discuss different type of models we discuss the chemostat process in details the major drawbacks of the chemostat process is the cell mass wasting from the reactor. If it is more as compared to the cell mass that is growing in the reactor, obviously that a time will come when there will be no cell present in the reactor. The, the situation what we call de washout uh, that will arise. So, we, we, we try to discuss what are the avenue through which we can safeguard this particular process. One approach is cell mass recycling, another is the immobilized uh, immobilization of the whole cell. So, we discuss uh, both the process in details that uh, CSTR with cell mass recycling and also whole cell immobilization system, how it is used in different, how, how those cell processes used in the industry or different uh, biochemical processes. Now, today our, our purpose is little bit different. We want to discuss uh, say the couple of lectures will be concentrated on the different numerical problems and I personally feel that more we solve the numerical problems your idea on this particular biochemical process will be clear. So, <clears throat> with this objective the first problem that we have taken into consideration that is the batch process because you know that when cell grow in a particular system that question comes how you can monitor the, the kinetic constant as per example maximum specific growth rate of the cell and the saturation constant. Now this pro problem is little bit dealt with this uh, you see that Essertia coli is being used for the production of recombinant this porcelain cell, cell growth hormone the bacteria are grown aerobically in the batch culture with glucose as a growth limiting substrate and cell and substrate concentration are measured as a function of culture time and results are listed value. So, you know we, we understand what is called batch process, batch process I told you we take the, uh, take the material at a time, we take the media we take the medium and we put the cell here. So, you know then, then uh, we, 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 we put all the thi things together and then time to time we, we draw the sample here, we draw the sample here and we monitor with respect to time what is the cell mass concentration, what is the substrate concentration. So, this is exactly this problem deals with like this and, uh, and these are the different uh, their experimental results that has been given. Then uh, what is uh, finally what they are asking for that uh, what is the value of mu max and k s 
what you call maximum specific growth rate and the saturation uh, constant K s and what is the observed biomass yield of the substrate that is uh, these are the two uh, the, this is the parameters we shall have to monitor. So, we know that uh, to solve this problem we shall have to take the monode equation. Now, we know the monode equation what is the monode equation? Monode equation is mu max mu equal to mu max s k s plus s am I right. Now, mu what is mu? Mu is the specific growth rate this is called specific growth rate. This is the specific growth rate and what is this? S is called the limiting substrate. substrate. So, the once what we shall have to do uh, to solve this uh, particular uh, to fi finding out to find out the values of mu max and k s what we what we shall have to do we shall have to put the line write the line of the Bach plot uh, using the monode equation and this will be what k s this is k s by mu max 1 by s plus 1 by mu max am I right. So, if you plot now 1 by mu versus 1 by s we will get a straight line the slope will give you the value of this is k s by mu max and this intercept will give you the value of 1 by mu max am I right. So, this is how we can find out. So, this mu max value you can put it here we can find out the value of k k case. Now, question come how you can find out the value of mu. So, in this problem what you have we have t, we have x and we have s value. So, different value in this problem is given. Now, what we shall have to find out? We shall have to find out what is d x by d t. Now, I told you the d x by d t how we can find out this is equal to x n plus 1 minus x in minus 1 divided by 2 del t. Now, here n is the sampling number this is sampling number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this. So, simple so by using this equation we can find out d x by d t once we know d x by d t we know the at this point what is the value of x and at this point we know the what is the value of d x by d t. So, we can find out 1 by x value of 1 by x d x by d t this is nothing but mu am I right. And once you know the mu value then we can find out the value of 1 by mu and uh, simultaneously we can find out 1 by s value s value is given here. So, we can we can then we can plot 1 by mu versus 1 by s and we can get the kinetic constant k s and this we can we can easily find out. Now, this is uh, this is the table that uh, you can see that uh, uh, different values are given this is the x value 1 by x value 1 by s value d x by d t this is how we can find out and then we find out the mu value which is nothing but 1 by x d x by d t then 1 by mu value we can find out. Then we can plot this is uh, this is 1 by mu versus 1 by s plot then we will get a straight line and from the intercept we can get the value of 1 by mu max that is coming 1.69 hour inverse and the slope is 0 0.65 we put the value of mu max here then we will get the case value 1.1 kg per meter cube. So, so we can find out the kinetic constant. Now, question comes that next is the what is the observed biomass yield the ratio. So, what we, we can write that y x by s is equal to d x by d s am I right and this we can write this is equal to del s del x by del s. So, this is equal to x minus x 0 by s 0 minus s. So, we can from this ratio we can find out that um, from the table x we can take it taking the value at time 
3.7 hours, we get the y x by s value 0.46 kg per kg. So, we can easily um, easily find out uh, the values, uh, easily find out the values of the of the different kinetic constant of any microbial system. I hope it everybody can do it very easily. The next problem that is that is very interesting that is also with respect to the batch process and uh, this uh, this problem is interesting the reason is that because the, we are when you run a particular batch process we are interested to know that you know after a certain time what is the you know, what is the what is the cell mass concentration what is the substrate conversion so the, how you can monitor how we can determine this the, this problem will deal with that let us see how we can solve it now here a strain of e coli has been genetically engineered to produce human proteins you know that one human protein is the insulin that is large this is a, uh, the recombinant protein that we produce through the microbial fermentation process and we <coughs> and this a batch culture is started by inoculating 12 gram of cell into 100 liter fermenter containing 10 grams per liter of glucose the maximum specific growth rate of the culture is 0.9 hour inverse biomass yield from glucose is 0.575 gram per gram. So, first problem that we have estimate the time required to reach the stationary phase and uh, what will be the final cell density if the fermentation is stopped after 70 percent substrate is consumed. So, this is this is very typical this is a common problem that we have with the batch process that we are interested to know that uh, that how how much time is required for the attending the stationary phase. Can I can explain like this if, we, if you if you know the life cycle life cycle of the cell. So, what is the life cycle of the cell? This is x is the cell mass life viable cells and this is time. So, we, we will be having this so, this is the this is lag phase, this is log phase, this is stationary phase and this is death phase. So, the question is that that we are in this problem what is the time required to reach the stationary phase. So, we shall have to find out this value t 1. Now, question come how we can do that, how how you can find out that because you know that that we shall have to find out. Now, uh, now if we know that uh, what do you know that mu equal to one by x d x by d t am I right. So, <coughs> d x by x I can write mu into d t this is d t ok and this is d l n x mu into d t am I right. Now, this is equal to x 0 by x and this is 0 to t. Now, one thing here we can assume they are saying that that after the end of log phase that what is the cell mass concentration then stationary phase starts we can assume this mu equal to mu max the maximum uh, growth rate of the cell occur in the log phase. So, if you assume that then the situation is very simple we can write this is the t batch process now t batch will be what t batch will be equal to 1 1 by mu max and ln x by x 0 am I right. So, this is this is exactly what we have done in this problem. <coughs> so, this is the equation that we have we have written here this is the ln t, t b equal to l n x by x 0 by mu. Now, once you once you have this uh, we know that uh, this is the this is the yield coefficient is y x by s equal to x by x minus x 0 x 0 minus x. The x x will be equal to what? this uh, uh, this y x by s uh, s 0 minus s. So, yeah, what is the what was our PPS equation t b equal to l n x by x 0 divided by mu max am I right. So, here 1 by mu max I can take it out now x will be equal to this. So, I can put uh, put this value here and this is the x 0. So, we can simplify in this form and then we know uh, we assume that at the stationary phase 
there is uh, what is the stationary phase how how you define stationary phase we define stationary phase one is a kind of starvation phase where most of the substrate will be exhausted am i right so so we can assume that s tends to zero not exactly zero s tends to zero now if it is tends to zero i can assume i can i can solve this problem like this this is uh, 1 by 0.9 is the 0.9 is the mu max value then y x is y x by x is the 0.5 um, 75 and 10, 10 grams per liter is the substrate and this is zero and x zero is the initial cell concentration is 0.12 so total time required for the batch process will be coming at 4.32 hours that means after if you, if you, if you look at this uh, this is the how long is the time required to reach the stationary phase that you know that we assume is starting a, it starts in the this log phase initially and final this is 4.32 hours that you know that we can we can reach this stationary phase now next next is that you know what is the cell mass concentration now if you look at uh, this problem that uh, what will be the final cell density what do you mean by density? Density is equal to mass per unit volume. If the fermentation stop after 70 percent substrate, it consumed. So, this problem that means we shall have to find out when 70 percent substrate consumed. The how much was the initial substrate? 10 grams per liter. The how much substrate will be remaining with us? This is 30 percent. Am I right? So, you multiplied by 0.3, that means 3, 3 grams per liter. Now, uh, so you you have we have the previous equation i can put the value of s and s0 and s in this equation and find out what is the time required to consume the 70 percent substrate it is coming 3.93 hours now <coughs> initial substrate con that cell mass uh, how much they are 12 gra gram per uh, 100 milliliter so this if you divide by that you will gain you will get uh, the 12 uh, that is this will be how much the you see 12 gram per 100 grams am i right so this will be about 0.12 gram per 100 milliliter so per liter it will be 1.2 gram per liter so it has little bit uh, error is there you please correct it this will be 1.2 gram per liter am i right so then we, we can we can we, we know that uh, um, dx, uh, we we have already seen that uh, we have already seen that uh, uh, ln x zero by x. We can write this is x by x by x, x zero. This will be equal to what we have seen. This is equal to mu max into T B. Am I right? The time of the batch process. So I can write x equal to what x zero into e to the power mu max into T b that you know how much time required to 70 percent this is exactly done only this value will be changed and this value will be little bit altered that will will later later on we will correct this. Now next problem deals with the fed batch reactor I told you the fed batch reactor is largely used for uh, substrate uh, substrate inhibition and let us see how we can analyze this process this is a very interesting problem now if you look at uh, that uh, nicotiana this is uh, tabacum these cells are cultured in a, in a high density production of polysaccharide gum a star tank reactor was used containing initially 100 liter of media the the, the maximum specific growth rate of the culture is 0.19 day inverse and yield of the biomass is 0.5 gram per gram of substrate. Now, concentration of the growth limiting substrate is 3 grams 3, 3 percent weight by volume. Now, 3 percent weight by volume means what? Weight by volume means what? This I can write 3 gram per 100 milliliter am I right? So, this will be 30 gram per liter. So, you know this is uh, how we can write the, the reactor is uh, inoculated with 1.5 grams uh, per liter of cells and operated in batch until 
the shafted is virtually exist exhausted and media flow then started at a rate 4 liters per hour. Fed batch operation occurs until quasi steady state condition um, uh, under the quasi steady state conditions. Estimate the batch culture time and final biomass concentration. Second is the fed batch operation is carried out for 40 days and what is the final mass of the cells of the reactor. Then fermenter is available for 275 days per year with a down, down time between runs is about um, each run between the runs is 24 hours. That means after, after uh, one run is take about 40 days am I right. So, after 40 days that you have 24 hours is the downtime, and how much biomass is produced annually. So, this you have to calculate. This, so, the I consider this a very interesting problem and uh, let me explain this problem actually what they are they are telling. So, we are this is you know that in a fed batch reactor you take the initial culture you know this is the batch mode. So, you you take the media take the cell here and let this uh, organism grow in the batch mode and you operate the system until unless that uh, whole substrate is exhausted. Then you continuously uh, feed the substrate and slowly slowly this media is rises and you, you keep the substrate concentration uh, you add in a manner, ma manner so that this substrate concentration remain much below the inhibition level. This is what is the purpose of the of the this uh, <coughs> this uh, fed batch operation. So, we shall have to find out how uh, at the end how much cell mass is produced. Let us see how we can solve it. Now, here I told you whenever we try to solve any kind of problem first we shall have to write down what are the parameters is are given in this problem. Now, here what is the parameters is given mu max value is given s 0 value is given then x x 0 value is given and y x by s value is given. Now, from the previously previously previous problem we already found that t batch equal to 1 by mu that is consider we consider the mu max equal to y x by s s 0 minus s plus x 0 by x 0. You can put this values here that we, we, we consider all substrate is exhausted. So, s we can consider as a 0 then we find out that how much exact time is required for uh, for this uh, for this batch process we can find out that will come around 13.32 hour days. Now, here uh, question comes what is the final cell concentration that uh, we have already derived this equation in the previous problem and we can find out that how this is 16.5 grams per liter will be the final cell mass concentration. Now, next is that next what I told you I hope you can remember that that you know that this initially we, we operated in a batch mode this is the batch mode. Now, that uh, this reacted that we are, we are we are now continuously feeding in the reactor. So, this is the this is the strategy, strategy that we have the cell mass at the start of the fed batch operation is the product of the final batch of the cell concentration x 0 is the x batch into volume is about this. So, we we know this is the concentration concentration is the mass per unit volume and this is the liter. So, this is gram per liter and this is the 100 liter. So, if you multiply that we can find out what is the initial amount of cell present in the batch uh, final after the ending of the batch process. Now, we, we in the fed batch process we have already developed this equation what is the x t x t is the final cell mass concentration x t equal to x 0 f is the flow rate y x by s is the uh, yield coefficient s 0 is the initial substrate concentration and t is the time. So, um, so, they, they, the, so, I can I can write that what is f f is the volume volumetric flow rate volume per unit time am I right volume per, per unit time. And what is the what is the value of uh, S0? S0 is the mass per unit volume. So, this volume volume will cancel this pass per mass per unit time. Now, again, this is mass of what what mass of substrate, you know, this substrate, and then y x by s is the y x by s equal to what the mass of 
cell by mass of substrate mass of substrate. So, the substrate substrate will cancel the mass of cell now uh, per unit time. So, if you multiply it by total time then we will get the what is the final uh, substrate concent the, the cell mass concentration this is how this equation has come. Now, simple we put this value we can find out the the uh, at the end of the fermentation we are getting 4.05 kg of now, uh, let us come to the second part or third part of the problem. What is the third part of the problem? That the fermenter is available. Now, uh, no, the fed batch operation is carried out for 40 days. So, what is the final uh, cell mass? So, that we have find out that T we consider 40 days we find out. And third part is that fermenter is available 275 days per year with a downtime between uh, between the runs is 24 hours how much biomass is produced annually. So, let us see how you can solve this. This we have what you can the run that per run how much is the cell mass we can produce this is the total cell mass this is the initial cell mass. So, the what is the the per run how much this is the final we, we previously we find out how much is the cell mass concentration we can find out it is 4.05 kg that is mean 4050 gram and this is the the initially cell mass that was present. So, if you if you multiply that you will you will get that how much cell mass you produce per run. Now, how many runs you can conduct this is the best time that uh, this is uh, uh, how much 13.432 and then fed best time how much is required 40, 40 uh, days and down time is required one day. The total time is required like this. So, how much run because we shall have to operate 275 days. So, divide by 54.32 that means 5.06 run you have to conduct am I right. If one run we can produce 3.9 gram 9 kg of product cell mass the 5.06 run how much is cell mass is produced 19.73 kg. So, we can easily find out that total amount of cell mass is produced. Now, last problem that we have lactobacillus kg this is also very interesting, but similar to fat batch feed batch feed batch process lactobacillus kg is propagated under the essentially anaerobic condition to provide the starter culture for manufacturing a sweet cheese. Now, the culture produced lactic acid by the by as byproducts for energy metabolism. The system has the following characteristics these are the different values are given. The start tank reactor is operated in fed, fed batch mode at quasi steady state with a feed flow is 4 uh, cubic meter per hour and feed substrate concentration is 80 grams per cubic meter kg per cubic meter. After 6 hours the liquid volume is 60 40 40 cubic meter. What is the initial volume of the culture that you have to find out? what is the concentration of the substrate at the quasi steady state, what is the cell mass concentration at the quasi steady state, how much biomass is produced after 6 hour fed batch operation. So, I am quickly go through this because. So, you see that we have already we have seen that V equal to V 0 uh, plus F t. Now, V 0 we know the initial volume we shall have to find out the V 0 V minus uh, F t. So, V v is given this is 40 liters um, or 40 uh, that uh, 40 cubic meter then and F is the 4 meter cube per hour and this is the 6 hours time. So, we can easily find out the initial volume initial volume is very easy you can you can determine that. Now, in the next part that we know that you know that uh, you can find out the dilution rate dilution is nothing but flow rate by volume this is 0.1 hour inverse mu uh, equal to d under quasi steady state condition this is and then s value is this we can put the uh, different values in this equation then we can find out the, uh, the steady state substrate concentration. Now, once you know that the next stage is that we shall have to do the substrate balance across the reactor equation is rate of input plus rate of generation, rate of output, rate of consumption plus accumulation. So, we can write whole equation like this and this is the final equation we, we will be having 
and uh, and if we consider q p equal to here we do not consider other than cell mass as a product. So, we can assume q p the product uh, specific rate of product formation equal to 0 then our fi final equation will be this. This equation if we further analyze uh, you will get that this equation and, and then as steady state condition that rate of accumulation of the substrate that should be equal to 0 that should be equal to 0. So, so this is exactly what what is written there and mu equal to uh, d that is uh, then we can write this equation in this form this is uh, x equal to d s 0 d by y x by s by m s m s is the maintenance coefficient and if you put the value you can get the final cell mass concentration. And then the total biomass will be what little biomass into x uh, x uh, into x is the cell mass concentration in the final volume and x is the cell, cell mass concentration in the initial volume. So, you can we can find out this uh, for this value final cell mass concentrated amount is 5561.6 kg and the initial will be this. So, the difference will give you that total biomass that is produced in the system. You know that uh, so this uh, particular lecture I try to covered several problem, four different problems and I hope uh, the batch and fed batch process uh, you can analyze very nicely and uh, you can you can you can you can solve the uh, uh, the problem with respect to substrate conversion with respect to cell mass formation that we can easily monitor. Thank you very much.